Well, I literally just woke up then. Um, I managed to get some sleep last night. But, yeah, I kept waking up a couple of times, but it wasn't, like, keeping me up from the back pain, which is good. Um, no new symptoms today, which is good. Um, yeah, nose feels fine. Or well, a little bit congested still. A bit lightheaded. Um, got my vitamin C juice. A lot of people have been saying that, like, vitamin C is the way to go, so... Um, so this patch here, I put up a post yesterday about like putting this on and it's a Bluetooth thing So I had to like turn it on and it's linked to my phone and yeah, the hospital can like monitor my um, fever and everything like that or body temperature um, So yeah, pretty interesting, but uh, One thing I think is really important for everyone out there to start doing now is Working on your immune system because my symptoms have been mild, which is great and like I as some of you may know, like I've been vegetarian for four or five years and do my best to be vegan as much as possible. And just with meditation and exercise and all that stuff, like I think that I'm not getting hit that hard because of that. So this is, let this be a wake up call for everyone to really start now, just being as healthy and fit as possible, reduce your meat consumption, uh, reduce your dairy consumption. And I think that would dramatically help um, my the Chinese um, there you go. Practitioner Jono said to me yesterday that uh, it's uh, really important to stay away from all dairy, like cheese and all that, because it would just it will mess up your mucuses and that. So start now and assume that you're going to get this virus tomorrow, because there's a very high chance a lot of us will. I hope not, but yeah, it's something that's probably going to be with us forever. I need to go and take a shower, and I've been informed by my, by my brother who. He's taking all the precautions, as we should be. Uh, he wants me to let me know every single time I'm going to the toilet or the bathroom by yelling out toilet or shower or something. So here we go. I've got to put my mask on. Let's see how we go. Shower! 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 We made it. What is that? So I'm connecting with the family and playing okay. Hangman. Let's have a look here. Okay, next. Uh, Allison. Oh, wait, Dave, uh, do you want to guess hey. it? Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Dave, do you want it? No, Pretty cool. I recommend not. you guys try this to connect with people. So I'm about to have a Skype call with one of the doctors. Um, they just sent me a text message. I don't know who the person is um, or whatever. They just said log on to Zoom or whatever it is and, and, and see. So we'll see. Okay, so I just got off the phone with the healthcare professional. So he's just told me he's going to be calling me every day now until I'm cleared um, uh, well, not negative, negative, but until I'm discharged, I suppose. Um, and so he was able to answer a few questions. Um, firstly, everything seems good and he can see all my, um, stats from his end because of this patch I'm wearing, which is awesome. Um, but, uh, I, I asked him, you know, is there, is there anything, no one's really told me any treatment, like none of the doctors or nurses have said that I need to take vitamin C or I need to do this. They've just kind of like, because it's such a new thing, I mean, they're, they're just kind of, yeah, in, a little bit in the dark. Um, and people around the world are just kind of guessing, but, well, not guessing, but educatedly guessing, let's say. Uh, he did say, you know, no ibu ibuprofen because it aggra aggravates it, but I can take Panadol. So if my back pain gets any worse, I'll definitely go for that. Um, and uh, what else did he say? He said... Um, yeah, so the, the I'm at currently at day five since since showing symptoms. Um, even though this blog is like the third day I've written, um, technically it's actually day five since since I showed the symptoms, and it's actually been a good part of I think thirteen days now since um, the the contact to it. Um, and so he said that, and this is going to be the fun part for me. He said that within the next uh, so day six, day seven, and day eight are when people can really be hit by the virus. And I'm at day five, so yay. So, so far I've been like, you know, it's actually not that bad. Eh? People are 
shouldn't have anything to worry about. Um, so fingers crossed over the next couple of days, I don't show too much um, of it. But yeah, he said that it can just come out of nowhere and just hit people like a, a train. So that's going to be fun. But anyway, look, he was, he was really awesome. Again, very appreciative of the work that everyone's doing. And yeah, I just got to remain positive and keep eating healthy foods. So the boys have, uh, every time I even have the slightest cough or something, they're threatening to basically just kill me off. So let's, let's test it that uh, if they're tuned in. <coughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Hi everyone. Um, my name's Jay. I'm Brenner's brother. I'm living with him. Um, I know Brenner's doing his live blog, uh, oh, well, his vlog every day. So I just wanted to update and let everyone know how it's kind of affecting us in the household mm -hmm. and how we are uh, getting around and, and what we're doing. So Brendan Hello. has just shouted out. Um, yeah. I, if I can work out how to turn this around, um, that's, that's him there. Um, so he's leaving his rubbish for us to pick up now. Uh, so I'll grab that from him. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of our days, each, every day now. Uh, so Josh and I are not allowed to leave this house. Um, so Brennan basically leaves anything he wants outside there. Um, and now I've been banned from this kitchen, which is going to be... Josh's domain. So, Josh is our cook now to try to limit any sort of interaction, and we're all trying to stay in our own rooms. Um, so, yeah, uh, I have since gotten my test uh, results from yesterday. So, I went up and got tested. I had some mild symptoms over the week, um, but they are very, very mild, but given my proximity, um, and my job, I, I went up to get tested and it's come back negative, which is great news. Um, but of course, I am still isolating for the time being and for the next further 12 days. Um, look, I'll provide some further updates and, and how we're managing it all. But yeah, we're, we're, we're now in seven days in, in, in our rooms and we're trying to lock away now and not do anything else. We're, it's tough, but um, yeah. We're gonna get to the to to the end together, all three of us, and um, yeah, we'll we'll keep posting and, and how we're managing life and make sure we're reaching out. But touch base with your loved ones, make sure check in with everyone, and it's gonna be a long, long few months, uh, particularly the next one. So take care. We'll we'll chat again. I'm sure.